Welcome to the channel everyone. Well today working on the uh, Chevy Silverado 1980 K10. You see it's four wheel drive. Now last video uh, you watched me do the, the frame repair uh, behind the steering box that these Chevy trucks are very well known uh, for having. Um, so I got the uh, repair done. Now you can go back and look at that video if you want to see how I did that. I did do the inside. I put the repair on the inside versus the outside. Again, you can go back to that video uh, if you want to see that. But today, um, I'm going to show you a brace that you get for these to stop that uh, from cracking. So it's over here and I went to the guys at Off-Road Design and they actually they have a bunch of stuff guys for these trucks. They fix all the, the, the issues that these uh, square bodies have. Uh, really nice guys too. This is their, uh, their bolt-on steering uh, brace kit is what they call it. Yeah, you got a couple of braces that are very, very well done. You got one here. Now this is for uh, the 73 to 80. Uh, they have them for 67 to 72, 81 to 87. Uh, four wheel drives and they also have one for two wheel drives I guess. So it comes with, uh, this one comes with two braces, um, all the bolts you're going to need. Um, like I said, it is bolt on. So today I'm going to install that. Now you can see I have my front cross member out. Uh, it's over there because I had to, when I did the repair, I had to do some cutting. So I had to pull it off because someone did a crappy repair. But anyway, I had to pull my cross member out. But that brace actually goes to this cross member, so I got to get that cross member back in. And I'll show you how this brace kit bolts onto the frame. Okay guys, so I got this main brace bolted on. And I'm doing this, again, without the front cross member in there. Just to give you a really good look at what's going on. So you're actually taking the two rear bolts that go into the steering box and you're bolting the cross member to those. So I'm, I've got that in there. Now I'm going to put my cross member back in, my factory cross member, and I'll show you uh, where this goes. There's a, actually there's a factory hole that, that that will go to and then the other little brace I'll show you once I get the cross member on where that goes. Okay so you can see I got the cross member back in place and I've got the second brace on the steering box right here you can see it goes to the bolt the only bolt in front of this cross member and then there's a big hole right there you can see this is almost lined up uh, they say if they don't quite line up you know kind of enlarge the hole a little bit but I think I'm going to be able to get that in there just fine. Um, I got to do a little bit of clearancing because I put the the repair on the inside. So I got to do a little bit of clearancing here and I think it'll it'll fall right into place for me. Um, this hole here, this is the hole you're going to go to for this brace and I think you got to you're going to have to probably drill that out. It's too small. Mine doesn't quite get there again because I have my repair on the inside so it's a little thicker. So I'm going to have to grind mine down a little bit. That's why I'm mocking it up here to be able to get this to, to fit where it needs to be. But you can see how it 
I mean, this is major, major bracing uh, for that steering box. This frame is never going to have a problem again. So really nice. It's actually fitting really, really nice. So I got to take mine apart here, clearance a few things. Uh, we'll get her in for good and I'll show you the, the final install. Okay guys, so there it is all installed. Tightened down. You will have to, you will have to drill this out. That, that hole out, it's not very big. But uh, I had to drill mine off to the side of the hole a little bit. But that's probably again because I put my repair on the inside. I also shaved a little bit of the mount down. In there, but I don't have my lock nuts on because this is all mock up. I have a few more other parts from off road design that have to go on here, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then I guess the final thing is all these parts come bare, they're, they're not painted. So you're either going to have to paint them or powder coat them. But they fit really well guys, real happy with, with that. So a few questions that I asked the guys at Off-Road Design that other people might be wondering as well is I asked him if I could just weld up the cracks in the frame and then just use the brace without welding in the repair, the, the repair panel. He said that's not a good idea because once they crack, the metal is fatigued. So you really need to put the patch on the frame uh, before you add the brace. So that was one thing because I'm, I'm pretty confident in my welds and I, I could weld I know I could weld that frame up really good, but he says uh, that's not a good idea. Actually, if you, can, if you can get the brace here before you crack your frame, that's probably the ideal situation. Um, I know my 70 doesn't have any cracks, so one of the first things I'm gonna get for it is, is a brace uh, because I do not, guys, you don't wanna have to do the repair to the frame so uh, that, that's a pretty big job very very involved so like I said I'm gonna get one for my 70 because that's not cracked right now so I don't need to do the repair I can just bolt the brace in uh, and, and it won't crack but anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one I guess hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video and like I said stay tuned for more on this frame here guys I guess that's gonna do it for this one I'll see you guys